Hi, Bloody Recapped here. Today I'm going to explain a comedy film, The Beverly Hillbillies. Please support the channel by subscribing and liking. Our goal is to get the first thousand subscribers in the shortest possible time. Keep your eyes open and stay focused. In the middle of nowhere in the woods is a house where a family lives. Ellie Mae's daughter. She makes a smoke bomb to take the honeycomb from the bees. And a bear sneaks up on her from behind. She knocks him to the ground with a clever wrestling move and, in a grab, asks him to learn how to share honey with her and lets him go. The bear runs away. Granny is a healer in these circles. A man comes to her and tells her that he ate too much cheese and can't burp. Granny treats him with a well-aimed blow to the stomach. Jed, the head of the family, leads a rabbit hunt, but misses on the swamp and opens an oil vault, and literally plunges into a rain of money. A helicopter arrives immediately with men in suits. They tell Jed that he has the largest oil reserve, but he thinks that's bad. The men tell Jed that they will pay him $1 billion to sign a contract to sell the swamp. Ellie Mae says that tomorrow a cousin, Jethro, is coming. He went to school, at Oxford, and he can help Jed with the decision. Jethro and his mother drive out of Oxford. It turns out to be a town of 562 people. Jethro tells her that he threw out the wiped out brakes and that new ones will arrive next week in the mail. He breaks against the toilet stall where Granny was sitting and gets a spanking from her. In the evening at the table, the mother tells Jed that they need to move to heaven, like Beverly Hills, and get married to raise Ellie Mae, because she is like a boy and Jethro imagines Ellie Mae in a dress and scoffs at her and she leaves the house. Outside she sees a guy in a helmet peeking at them. She brings him into the house. He was sent to see if he had signed the contract, and Jed decides to sign, saying they are moving to Beverly Hills. After packing up, they go to Grandma's house, but she refuses to go with them to California, saying she won't leave the rocking chair, but they tie her to the car along with the chair, seeing her off with a fire salute. On the road, Jethro asks Granny to duck, and on the highway in town, a guy overtakes them and gives them the middle finger, and Jethro says that's how they're welcomed here. Bank President Milburn and his secretary Jane talk in the hallway about the purchase of the Clampton family home, and it turns out that Milburn has bankrupted his neighbors by calling the IRS to vacate the house for them. In his office, Jane tells him that they are traveling by car, which is over 2,000 miles. The chief thinks this is a sign of boldness, of determination in their action, and notices that their employee Tyler is eavesdropping on him, so he asks him to come into his office. Tyler says that he is ready to untwist the clamp tons for big money and that he has prepared all the papers, but Milburn does not like this idea, because he thinks that if the clamp tons are billionaires, this will not work with them and asks Tyler to burn all the papers, and at the exit he says that the Clamptons are knowledgeable, sophisticated people. At this time, the Clamptons are on the highway giving everyone the middle finger, and the guys who aren't happy with their driving threaten them with a gun, but Jed is not so simple, and the guys are off. At home Milburn tells his son Morgan that he must be friends with Ellie Mae or he will take all his money, and Morgan thinks that if it is that important then the girl will be very scary. At home, Tyler is discussing with his girlfriend, Laura, about Tyler promising to buy her a fur coat, but he says that a new billionaire is coming to Beverly, and they are plotting to take his money for themselves. While Granny is out on the road picking up a hit-and-run animal for dinner, Milburn and his wife drive up and the Clamptons all say hello to Milburn together. While Jane dusts the house for the new tenants, the Clamptons pull into the mansion thinking they have the wrong address, but all right. The Clamptons inspect the house and Jane thinks it's an armed robbery and calls the police clocking in. 2 minutes 46 seconds, a smoke bomb flies into the house and Ellie Mae thinks they're playing a game of kick the can and gives them the gas back. At the station, the detective asks everyone to turn to their right and starts calling out the Clamptons' names, and when Milburn hears this he gets sick and wakes up and tells Jane that she's fired. Outside, Milburn begs Jed not to close the account and Jed only agrees on one condition, that Jane handle his business, and tells her that there is nothing wrong with the situation, and they shake hands with their spits agreeing to the terms. Jed invites Milburn and his family over for dinner, and when they see the limo they mistake it for a hearse and offer their condolences, but after explaining, they get in, and Jethro wants to ride in Mr. Milburn's Rolls Royce. Jed says he wants to get married, and Milburn assigns the task to Jane. He wants to find a well-bred woman to help him raise Ellie Mae. At Sunday dinner, 
Jethro says he wants to be president of the bank, but Jed says it's uncivilized and tells him to ask to be vice president, and Milburn agrees under pressure of stairs, and Tyler rings the doorbell, noticing Milburn he tells him he brought flowers from the bank as a greeting, and Milburn asks him to say hi and go away. Tyler kisses Ellie Mae's hand in greeting, but she thinks he wants to bite her and she throws him like a bear. Jade learns from Milburn's wife that to make her well behaved, she needs to take private lessons at home from a real French woman, and Ellie is unhappy that she wants to be changed and leaves the estate. Outside, Jade changes Ellie Mae's mind, telling her that her mother was a real lady. At the beauty parlor, Tyler and Laura come up with the idea of sending her out as a French woman to marry Jade. She arrives at the Clamptons and Jethro, after reading her card, informs her that she does not need her services and as she is leaving behind Jed appears. He is extremely surprised at this timely appearance of the tutor. Jethro finally comes to the realization that she can take care of Ellie Mae. While Ellie is swimming in the cement pond with her critters, Laura comes in and says hello to Ellie, and Spanky the monkey slaps her ass. Jethro explains the rules of bowling to the monkey, supposedly you have to put the ball here and slide down the lane seeing how many of these fancy bats you can knock down while the ball rolls. Laura says he's an idiot, and when Jed asks her back, she says he has a colossal intellect, and Jethro says he completed sixth grade in three years, pointing four fingers. Jane arrives at the mansion, Ellie is taught to hold her posture, Jethro plays a game, and when Jane arrives and speaks to Laura in French, the latter, not understanding the language, says that in Ellie's presence she speaks only English. Jane starts showing candidates for wives, and Laura with a chicken purposely dumps the picture in the pool, but Jane says she has copies and leaves with Jethro, and the monkey knocks out a strike. Jane is stuck at the gate because of a cow. She calls the house, and Jethro, who has never seen an intercom, thinks she's in the wall and smashes the wall with a statue. Laura tells Tyler that she will seduce Jed and then put a nicer dress on Ellie and the money won't get to them. Tyler, hoping she won't sleep with him, starts role-playing on the phone, but Laura hangs up and Tyler thinks it is line too, but there is nobody there, he continues his story to Mr. Milburn. Jethro carries the bike and Morgan comes to get Ellie, and when he sees her his jaw drops and they head to school where Ellie has an altercation with the school bullies. Jethro in the office tells Jane that Jed likes people who don't throw money around and his favorite song is by Hank Williams, and this is overheard by Tyler through a transmitter and happily records it. At the manor house Jade hears his favorite song in Laura's bedroom, he dances with her and gets to know her a little better. Jethro rides with Jane, she asks him to improve his car or buy a new one, and Jethro shows a poster of Jade looking for a new wife. She says the boss will kill her, and Milburn sees an ad on TV encouraging girls to come to his bank. There's already a huge line at the bank, and Jethro comes up with an idea to pay for everyone's parking, which means Milburn has to spend $5,000 for everyone involved. At home, Jethro improves his car and Laura calls him an idiot again. At school, Ellie stands up for Morgan because the captain of the wrestling team is too confident, the coach says the fight will happen if the parents give a written agreement. In his office Milburn talks to a girl who wants to do business with Jed, namely a horse farm, he leads the girl out saying he will call Jed after she leaves, but when she leaves he asks Jane to burn the papers and not to let the lady into his office again. Jethro overhears the lady's phone conversation in the hallway that Milburn has approved of her, and he invites her to a private meeting with Jed. When they meet, Jed thinks she's talking about their intimate affairs in bed, and she means the horse farm. When they step away for a drink, a family shows up to teach Ellie how to ride a motorcycle but Granny takes the motocross and falls in the pool and gives Gerald a spanking again, and the girl leaves. There's an unauthorized fight at school and it's reported to absolutely everyone. After Ally wins, the coach announces the new team captain, shifting that guy. At the evening banquet, Jethro arrives in his car to greet Mrs. Jane. Her father sees Ellie in her evening gown and thanks Laura for transforming her daughter. A little later, Tyler talks to Laura, and when they notice Ellie their acting scene begins where Laura cries and tells Ellie that her father wants to be her husband, but she is afraid she will not be accepted by Ellie and leaves. She seduces Jade by saying that Ellie said she wants to see her as her mother, and Jade leaves to talk to her about it. Jade is congratulated on his birthday and the singer calls him on stage and asks him to give a speech where he confesses his love for Laura and proposes to her, and of course she agrees. Granny talks to Jethro's mother and says she doesn't trust Laura, and she invites her and her cousin to the wedding. Weasel Tyler brings Jade the prenup, saying that Miss Jane gave it to him, and he says that if it's from her then he won't even read it, it's alright. 
Granny is making potions in her lab and Tyler and Laura are talking in the park and kissing and Granny sees everything and yells at them that she will tell them everything and there will be no wedding, but they catch and tie Granny up. They bring her to a nursing home where they tell her the worst syndromes about her and introduce themselves as her grandchildren, and the doctor says that Granny is an obvious candidate for electroconvulsive therapy and they take her away. The next day Jane notices that Nana is missing. But Jed doesn't want to worry because she disappeared for a couple of days at his last wedding. The Clamptons family takes a plane to the wedding. Jane walks through Granny's lab and finds her miracle potion, suspecting something is wrong. She asks the captain at the police station to find Granny, but he says he can't help but give her business card, the best detective in the county. He tells her that Laura is a con artist who has been married 12 times to more or less wealthy men and Nana has been confined to a nursing home where her boss is known for his terrible treatments. Jane calls the house and asks for Milburn, but Tyler comes to the phone. She tells him that Laura is a fraud and that the wedding must be stopped immediately, but he like a broken phone tells Mr. Milburn that Jane will not be there and she is asked to start the wedding without her. In the meantime, Jane sneaks into the nursing home disguised as a new nurse. She finds Granny in one of the rooms and gives her a drink of her magic elixir, and Granny returns to normal, while Tyler is already tunes. Money transfer $1 billion to Switzerland, but cousins Jethro sits down with him. Granny tells him that Tyler and Laura have stashed her here and a chase begins for them. As Laura comes out for the ceremony, Tyler can't wait to transfer the money. Jane arrives with her grandmother, but they are not allowed in without an invitation, so they decide to find another way to sneak into the wedding. When Laura and Jed are already declared husband and wife, unexpectedly Jane and her grandmother drive into the manor on Jethro's monster truck and drive through all the cars, and the guests scatter. Jane tells Mr. Milburn that the two are crooks who only want money. Laura and Tyler run away but decide to transfer the money even so, if not to Laura, then to no one, and when one button is left Tyler decides to tell the redneck that they are about to become poor again, but Jane appears and shoots the laptop. Jed decides to have a family party, since the wedding didn't work out, don't let the good stuff go to waste. Grandma catches Laura and brings her to everyone, but Ellie decides that no one has the right to treat her father that way and throws her into the cake. She gets arrested by the police who arrive. She says it was all Tyler's idea, and he dances with his cousin, who sends him straight to the police and he says it was Laura's idea. Spanky finds himself a girlfriend. Support the channel by subscribing, like and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.